It's Saturday, July 19th, 2014, and we're overlooking Blaine Lake, Saskatchewan, on the southern tip of a glacial lake bed between two fingers of undifferentiated glacial moraine reaching up from the North Saskatchewan River, maybe 20 key to the south, looking due east here, and westward down the grade of a rail bed that the Canadian Northern built through here, completed in 1912. Between Denholm on the main line, over by North Battleford, and Prince Albert, 116.5 miles. The commercial hotel dates from 1914 and was the scene of a tragedy in June 1925 when a woman suffered a murder suicide. Looking southeast down uh, Main Street, also known as Highway 12, Saskatoon's maybe 75k off to the south and east. The town site was laid out by Canadian Northern in 1910, so perpendicular to the railway tracks, of course. A typical Canadian Northern third class station in situ at mile 64.3 from Prince Albert on what Canadian National called the Plain Lake Sub. Built in 1912, it cost of nearly $3,000. Canadian National sold it off in 1981 and it's now the town's museum and library. And yeah, Highway 12 goes up to Shell Lake, maybe 70k away. In the back of the station, Canadian Northern built hundreds of these on the prairies. And on the museum grounds, in case you're feeling naughty, Hugh Gillies opened the eponymously named post office in his farmhouse northeast of town on May 1st, 1903. When the railroad built through, Gillies moved his operation into town and changed its name on August the 1st, 1912 to Main Lake. Now, first out, look along Main. Oh, thanks very much for stopping. Sorry about that standing in the middle of the road like this. Well, original bank building. Bank of Commerce from the very beginning. Busy town on this Saturday morning. Plain Lake was incorporated as a village on March 15, 1912, and became a town on March 1st, 1954 reached a peak population of around 700 in the 1960s and has climbed back up to 510 in 2011. Got a water towel over there. Plain Lake is the headquarters of the rural municipality of Plain Lake, unsurprisingly. Number 434. Has a volunteer fire department that's leased by the RCMP. A detachment being stationed here. Community hall over there, old McLeod store. Murals here and there. I wish it was a brighter day. A little sunlight would really pick out the colors around here. The Europeans began settling in this area in the 1880s. Farmers and ranchers. In 1899, a large contingent of Dukabors were settled in this area. Overflow from the colonies farther to the east centered on Kamsak and Verrigan in the Kenora district. Then Frank Oliver, Laurier's new minister of the interior, engineered the dissolution of the colonies in 1906. Many of the folks here 
decided not to follow Lord Verrigan to BC, settled on their own lands, became part of this community. As evidenced by their prayer hall. From 1902, French from both the province of Quebec and from Brittany settled in this area in numbers. The New Catholic Church. The Saskatchewan Elevator Company, the National Grain Company, and R.B. McLean opened the first elevators in Blaine Lake in 1912. Saskatchewan Cooperative Elevator followed in 1914. And the British America Elevator Company in 1922, Searle in 1921. Over the years, these were all bought up by either Cargill or Saskatchewan Wheatpool or closed by those companies in the 1980s. Cargill built its B concrete that still exists that we've seen in 1986 and closed it in 2002. And Saskatchewan Weepool built one of the other surviving elevators in 1985 and sold privately in 2001. Pretty little place, Plain Lake. Busy highways. This is the composite school, K-12. And looking northward up, what I believe is Range Road 66 towards the school. This is Highway 40, Shellbrook is 60K that away to the north and to the east. And off to the right, to the west, almost exactly 100K are the battlefields. And the highways are the only connection that Blaine Lake has to the outside world these days. The Canadian Northern, of course, became part of Canadian National at the end of World War I. Ran the rail line until 1997 when Carlton Trail Railway, a local arm of Omnitrax out of Denver, I believe, took it over. And they ran it until 2012 when uh, economics dictated that they pull the steel and withdraw. In the western end of town, it's Highway 40 in the background there, coming in from North Battleford. There's a campground out here, and a motel on the north end of town. On the way to Shell Lake, there's likely the Saskatchewan Pool Elevator from 1985. Looking southeast down Main Highway 12, stations down there, downtown. And on the highway going out of town. Saskatchewan. 